Hello detectives! So this is a very special day for me and this is an incredibly special video to be filming because five years ago this week on the 4th of June 2014 my very first book Murder Most Unladylike was published for the first time ever and this is what the first edition looked like. So you can see the series was going to be called a Wells and Wong mystery series and the book was published by Corgi, an imprint of Random House Children's Books. When this book came out, I mostly remember being completely terrified. It was so scary to me that my words were going to be out in the world, that people who didn't know me were going to be able to pick it up and read it. So I felt really nervous. But the one thing that really calmed me down, one thing I kept telling myself was, don't worry, nobody's actually going to read this book apart from your friends and your mother. I was convinced that nobody but me would really want to read a book where children solved murders. I had been told all the way along the process that it was a really strange concept, that it was something that might not work, and even though my agent and my publishers and I all loved this story so much, we just weren't too sure what everybody else was going to think about it. But it turned out that Murder Most Unladylike did a bit better than selling a few copies to my friends and my mother, which still completely astonishes me. I cannot believe that this book that I genuinely thought might be read by a few people and then just sort of forgotten is not only still in print after five years, but people are still reading it. So many people are reading it, in fact, that a series that was meant to be three books, Murder Most Unladylike, Arsenic for Tea, and First Class Murder, is now an eight book series. And people often ask me why we've done the rainbow in such an odd way, why we went blue, green, orange, yellow, red, and then purples. That is because we didn't plan any of this. We thought this was going to be a three book series, we were not prepared for it to be an eight book and counting series, and of course the series that used to be called the Wells and Wong Mysteries, we decided to change it to the Murder Most Unladylike Mysteries. So if you have this edition, if you have something that says Wells and Wong, you have a really early edition and it's a very special, precious one. And I can honestly say that I could not have predicted any of what has happened to me over the last five years. If you had turned to me in June 2014 and told me that in June 2019 I was going to be a full-time author, that I would have had 10 books published with more on the way, that my first book would still be in print and still be being read by fans, that I would have fans of my books, I would have just laughed in your face because that would have just seemed ridiculous. But that is genuinely what's happened to me. Uh, I feel so lucky every single day. I also feel slightly overwhelmed every single day because this was not the plan. This is not what I thought I was going to be doing with my life. It's always what I wanted to do with my life, uh, but it's never something that I expected to happen. So the fact that it has is just amazing. Uh, and this book that first came out in June 2014 has been through so many new editions. And even though I still have the same editor and the same publishing team who are wonderful and have supported me every step of the way for the last five years, my books are now not published by Corgi anymore, they're published by Puffin. Uh, I'm a Puffin author, which is again, really, really special. To celebrate five years of Murder Most Unladylike, of course, we have a very special new edition out today, out this week, and it looks like this. This is the first time that Murder Most Unladylike has ever been in hardback. In fact, any of my Murder Most Unladylike Mysteries series have been in hardback. It is the first time we've had beautiful, gorgeous uh, silver foil. This book has end papers. Uh, it has a little ribbon so you can keep your place in the book. It is the most gorgeous, sumptuous design. I love it. Of course, we have still kept Nina Tara's iconic cover look. It's just a little bit tweaked for this new hardback edition. We have Hazel on the spine there, which I really love because, of course, this book in this series is really all about Hazel, even though Daisy thinks it's all about her. As well as this beautiful cover, uh, there are some other very special things about this book. The first thing, as you can see here, is that these books are all signed. And this isn't just me signing it just now. Literally every single copy of this first print run, all five and a half thousand copies of this book, have already been signed by me. Uh, I went to the warehouse, the Penguin Warehouse, a couple months ago and I signed all of them. It took me two days. So if you buy this book online, if you buy it in a store, if you buy it in a little independent bookstore or in Waterstones, wherever you go to get this book, uh, it will always be signed because I've already signed them all. 
Now, if you meet me this month or at any time in the future, you can get your books personalized. I will write your name uh, in that front page where it just is signed at the moment, but you will not be able to escape having a signed copy of this edition. It also has a new introduction from me, uh, which is basically saying all the stuff that I just said to you. There it is. And at the back of the book, there are two special new things. The first new thing that is here is a special new short story by Daisy Wells. And this is a short story that chronicles the first meeting that Daisy and Aunt Hazel ever had. And of course, in Murder Most Unladylike, Hazel tells her side of the story, tells about meeting Daisy on the hockey pitch and then being locked into a trunk by her later that day. And this is Daisy's version of the story. And as you'll see, it's similar in some respects, but, but it's a bit different in others. And I really enjoyed writing it and thinking about what Daisy was thinking when she first met Hazel. And the other thing that is in the back of this book is a special teaser of Top Marks for Murder. Of course, Top Marks for Murder is the eighth murder mystery in the Murder Most Unladylike Mysteries series. It's not out until August, but you have the chance to read the first three chapters when you buy this book. And of course, it's coming out in June. It's coming out officially on the 6th of June. So you get to read Top Marks for Murder first three chapters a few months early, which is very exciting. So that is what is in this book. And of course, also what's in this book is the original story, the story that you've been reading for the last five years, the first murder mystery that Daisy and Hazel ever solved, the beginning of their adventures. Uh, I am still really proud of this book. I love it. It is all the things that I loved most in the world. It is murder mysteries, which of course I've loved ever since I read my first Agatha Christie, age 12. It is a boarding school story. I grew up with The Worst Witch and Harry Potter and Mallory Towers and St. Claire's, but I also grew up at a real boarding school. I went to Cheltenham Ladies College and I took all of my favourite books and I took my real experiences at school and I put them into this book. And I wrote about Daisy and Hazel because they were basically my friends at school. I had a lot of Daisies and a lot of Hazels that I knew in real life and I kind of squished their characters all together to make these two girls. Even though they're not based on one particular person, they're based on a lot of people that I know really well and I love very much. And I think that is why when you read about them, they seem like you, they seem like your friends, because they're so very real to me. It is such a privilege to be launching this beautiful, shiny, foiled, hardback edition of Murder Most and Ladylike. It means so much to me. This book, when I wrote it, these characters, Daisy and Hazel, have changed my life. My life is completely different to how it was five years ago, to how I thought it was going to be. And I know that when I say that Daisy and Hazel have changed my life, what I really mean is you. I want to thank every single person who's fallen in love with this book, with this series, with Hazel and Daisy, who has dressed up as Hazel and Daisy, who's told their friends about Hazel and Daisy, who has had a murder most unladylike birthday party, who's written me letters, who've sent me beautiful drawings they've done of my characters. Whether you have discovered the series yesterday or you've been there since 2014, I want to thank you so much. You have helped change my life. You have helped make Daisy and Hazel and their world feel real. I hope I get the chance to write a lot more books in Daisy and Hazel's world. I love it. I love it as much as you do. It makes me feel so lucky that you are just as engaged in this world as I am, that you love Daisy and Hazel as much as I do. It is a privilege. I love every day of it. I often want to cry because it is just, I think, the best job in the entire world and I just can't get over how lucky I am to be an author, to be an author who writes books I enjoy so much and that you enjoy reading so much. I feel very lucky. So thank you for five years of Murder Most Unladylike. Here's to a lot more, I hope. You are the best fans in the whole world.